I didn't actually think I was going to talk much in this video. It's supposed to be just a quick video to show me quickly swapping engines because I got the snowblower one working. Turns out it's a bit bigger and it needs adjusting. This is the engine mounting plate. Here are the original holes and these are now the new mount mounting holes. I've tried it and to a degree it works. That degree being it needs adjusting. And if you think this is hairbrained, So I've put the wheels on, got it outside, put the wheels on, filled it up. Still leaking, but it's fine. Turned the key and was prepared to pull it. And uh, yeah, can you believe my luck?
After getting it down, I noticed that dry was somehow permanently on, much like it was when I first got it. I'm still not quite sure why this happened, but it's something I'll have to look into. Regardless of what I did, the um, drive belt was super tight on. I'm not quite clear on what's shifted either here or there. My next step now that the electric starter for the 3 horsepower has arrived, I may just swap it back just to see. Hopefully the throttle control will be a lot easier on the 3 horsepower as well because 8 horsepower did seem a little too much. Then again, to be fair, the throttle control on this engine is either full tilt or choking out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Oh ho ho my god! <laughs>